soul and leo we're going to take a look at some energy for you potentially coming up for this upcoming week uh starting date july 6th and ending july 12th 2020 uh, the messages will be for Leo Sun, Moon, and Leo Rising signs. All right, Leo, I hope all is well. Please sit back, relax, and I hope that you enjoy your reading. Hey, Leo, this is Soul here, and we're going to take a look at your uh, energies, as I mentioned before. And uh, the messages will be for Leo Sun, Moon, and Leo Rising signs. All right, Leo, I hope all is well. This week, I'm using the uh, True Black Tarot once again to uh, deliver your messages. All the cards are in the upright position, Leo. So let's see what the energy is going to be for you guys coming up here for this upcoming week. All right, energies for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Leo Rising Sign. If anyone wants to know what my little sign says, it says, just think. You're here not by chance, but by uh, God's uh, choosing to fulfill his special purpose for this generation. Okay, I picked that up. I thought it was very nice and I wanted to add it into my um, videos uh, this upcoming week. Okay, energies for Leo. What we got going on here? All right, Leo, your shadow energy, we're going to start that off with. Well, it's the Ace of Swords, okay? So the Ace of Swords is a very good card to start off with. It's, it's all about vic, uh, being victorious and successful in some type of in, uh, endeavors, okay? Also, too, the Ace of Swords is the start of something new. So maybe you want to uh, start uh, becoming, uh, you know, more uh, adventurous or doing something more exciting uh, to bring into your life or it could be, you know, uh, that energy in, a, in connection or association with your partners, your friends, um, partners meaning romantic partners. It could be anything in, involving family members, extended family members, uh, and so forth. Okay, children. So Ace of Swords. And then I like this Ace of Swords too because of the fire that's up on top. So yes, using that sword, uh, Leo, to clear up any uh, uncertainties or confusions that may be centered around anything that comes up for you this upcoming week and then knowing that if there is any types of confusions or you know things that you need to clear up or gain more clarity about you will be successful in doing that okay that's what that ace of swords is all about okay using your analytical mind as opposed to your emotional heart making decisions and taking charge and because of the fire on the swords being on fire <laughs> about it too all right passionate that's what I'm, i meant to say not being on fire but passionate about it so we're going to open up with your um energies now this here hmm Okay, now I want to make sure that I'm calling this right here. This is the, better make sure, because this looks, I don't want to say it's the Three of Swords, and then all of a sudden, it's not the Three of Swords. These, it's only a couple cards that, that do that for me, and let me just check to make sure it's not the Three of Swords. No, it is not the Three of Swords, is it the Three of Cups? No, it's the three of wands. Actually, it's your, <laughs> it's your own energies, okay? And Leo, since I don't have to worry about uh, the camera cutting off and stuff like that, I can do this, okay? So just, you know, have some patience and bear with me. Uh, I wasn't really sure about this, but it's the three of wands. So this is representing your energies. So we're going to start off with that. Three of wands here is um, something positive, uh, definitely moving forward. It's also represents um, some sort of traveling for some of you so it could be short distance long distance traveling but it could be also too the three of wands showing up uh, right at the start and the focus because maybe there was something you know in your recent past that um, you wanted to move forward but just didn't quite have the resources or had you know gathered enough information this three of wands showing up here saying that okay you may have acquired or accumulated the information or the resources that you need and now you're uh, given the green light to move forward. Okay, so this is a very positive card. This three of wands Leo represents you Aries and Sagittarius All right, so I'm glad I made that uh, Correction and didn't want to move forward uh, Without knowing didn't have to uh, you know change it post edit 
what's crossing you is the four of swords okay so the four of swords is um now it's, it's it's interesting too because i always mention if the four of swords shows up here it's about planning vacations uh unless we get the three of wands the six of wands the six of swords chariot and now what's crossing the three of wands is the four of swords so now that there is um this combination i can say that who have who is ever planning to do any types of traveling whether it's short distance or long distance leo is going to be done within this week otherwise it's for those leos who uh, need to take a break disconnect their energies away from a source it could be a relationship it could be your job it could be your children it could be you know family members friends it's some energy that you need to temporarily disconnect from i always call this uh four of swords my um you know, reclaiming your independence and uh, your freedom. All right. So it's disconnecting or, you know, those attachments to those entities that we've become accustomed to, used to. And I also call this my um, codependent card. I don't know why I do that, but I, I, I get it. It's a codependency. So the swords um how i you know figure it all out and put it together the swords is what breaks or severs that codependencies from those sources that you are connected to uh and i always say in the past that you know relationships are fine you know we work because we have to sustain ourselves and our families um, but we can't get too you know too into it and then that becomes or you know we consume our energies and that's all that it is um, especially when it comes to relationships um, we have to you know when it comes to romantic relationships or any type of relationships because this is an open general reading friendships um, we have to make sure that you know we're not allowing these other energies um, that sustain us that we become dependent on to um, you know overtake our energies it's nice to come together and and you know um in these relationships it's nice also to to be working to take care of yourself and your families but if you're putting a lot of attention into those energies this four swords comes through for you to say hey you know what we need to uh, take a break do something exclusively that's not connected to any of those energies that you know i just mentioned your work your family your relationships because um when we i'm gonna just use the romantic aspect of this energy uh just to give you an example when we you know get into that relationship we connect with that person the next person then as time go on we mesh we come as you know we become as one there's nothing wrong with that but as long as you do not lose sight of yourself within that relationship, this is where the trouble begins because when something happens or the start of something happens in that relationship, all hell breaks loose. A lot of people can't handle breakups. You know what I'm talking about, right? So if the breakup would be easier, not that it would be any less painful, but it would be so much easier if you develop or keep those things that you know you've done on your own to build up your own happiness to say that hey you know what i'm getting ready you know i'm getting involved in a relationship but i can't lose my um you know sight of my own self my own energies because i know i'm sharing my life with another person but that i cannot make that person responsible for my happiness so i didn't want to go too far with that energy but that's what i am picking up here in the four swords because it's in your immediate environment and i always pay attention to the very first cards that are drawn here because it's usually the telltale for the entire reading so this four swords that represents gemini libra and aquarius is asking you to do something break a tie or break you know sever your ties on a temporary basis um leo and do something just for you go get your hair done since they're opening up public places now get your nails done get your hair cut for the dudes and um you know just do something but make sure that it is done um just you know for you no you're not leaving your relationship you're just going outside of your relationship to know that you know your relationship is fine you don't have to do everything together and um, this card is only asking you to do that on a temporary basis all right next up is the uh two of pentacles all right so here's the two of pentacles here uh no it's not 
See, I got to look at this. This is the high priestess, okay? So we got the major arcana, the high priestess showing up here. So this is a relationship card. Also, too, as the aspect of um, secrets being kept. So, Leo, I hope you're not keeping secrets from someone. I hope someone is not keeping secrets from you. Uh, it's the number two. So it's an aspect of there could be a little bit of opposition, that you may have with another person, whomever that person may be. But I wouldn't worry about it too much because it's a, you know, just the number two. It's a low energy. Uh, pay attention to your intuition this upcoming week, Leo, because it's important. For some of you, it will be important. Whatever gut instincts that you get, always go with that gut instincts because it's usually the correct answer. Now, it could be, too, uh, even though we haven't drawn any cups, I don't necessarily need cups to draw in the energy of a relationship because the uh, high priestess is a relationship. So that could be the coming together of uh, a new relationship, whether it's romantic or platonic for some Leos. Uh, and it may happen this upcoming week, um, but this person may be different from you. The connection to this next person may be different from you, meaning that they could be, you know, of a different race. They could be of a different, um, you know, culture. They could speak a different language, a religion, live in a different country, state. They could have there could be an age variance uh, going on here, too. Older, younger. So, uh, yeah, the high priestess is here. Uh, but I think the significance is uh, for you to pay attention to your intuition. And there could be some sort of mystery if there is a meeting or a chance meeting um, with this person uh, for you that, you know, you may cross paths with this upcoming week. What's up next after the Major Arcana is your energy again. This is the Seven of Wands. So the Seven of Wands is uh, my defense. Stand your ground. Do not fold. Do not bend. Whatever decisions that you make, Leo, because we have this Four of Swords. Four of Swords. Swords are about decision making. And... Um, once you make up your mind to do something this upcoming week, <laughs> stick to it. All right. That's the only thing that I always pick up with the seven of wands is that the other wands will represent you succumbing to your own energies when you make up your mind and think about doing something, executing on something. And then all of a sudden you, you change your mind. The uh, on the, That's the internal side. The external side would be other people trying to persuade you to change your mind about something that you've already made your mind up, uh, you know, about to do. So do not fold, do not bend. Uh, the reason why I say that is because normally when you succumb to either energies, internal or external, there's always this element of regrets. OK, you don't want to deal with any regrets. And because it follows the high priestess, stick to it even more so, because whatever it is that you're about to do this upcoming week, you're doing it for good reason. OK. All right. So what's following that? Um, Seven of Wands that represents you, Leo, Aries, and Sagittarius. We got the Nine of Pentacles. Beautiful card there. Nine of Pentacles. And it looks... Uh, the Leopard is sitting on top of the world. Okay? So this is sort of like a contentment type of energy. It's uh, the being rewarded for all of the work that you've done. The hard work that you've done. Now, because again, this is an open general reading. That could be within your relationships. That could also be you putting in a lot of energy where you actually work. This could also still be for those Leos getting a job, a promotion, a pay raise, and so forth. All right? Taking money out, spending money, splurges. I usually get big ticket items that you go out uh, and buy something, uh, you know, that you've been possibly wanting for a long time and maybe the money hasn't been available to you now the money might be available to you uh and it's only because you deserve it okay this is what comes through when the nine of pentacles shows up that you deserve something that you've worked very hard to achieve okay so go ahead and treat yourself and uh do not again i connect that seven of wands with that nine of pentacles if you're going to go out and spend some money on yourself don't let the other people tell you no <laughs> you better not or come to your own energies leo saying well maybe i can't afford it you know no nine of pentacles showing up here saying that either you got it and you can't afford it but you might be playing around with your own your own energies here so don't do that Nine of Pentacles represents Taurus, Capricorn, and Virgo. Now we have the King of Cups showing up here. King of Cups is the, uh, well, it's a female, but she can be a king too, right? 
So the female uh, King of Cups is um, father of all love. He's nurturing, he's caring, he's supportive. It's a relationship card. So we now have the card that represents a relationship, um, you know, even more so because of the high priestess. So that could be, again, coming together with an, um, you know, a new relationship. The kings and the queens always represent elders. So it could be some sort of connections with Leo's mother, father, grandmother, grandfather. This could be, you know, someone who is, um, connecting to some new energy and that person turns out to be older than Leo because I always get an older feel with the queen, king and queens. They don't have to significantly uh, be water signs, Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces, but they could be. Um, but also too, the uh, king throws in that energy, you know, tied in with the high priestess about paying attention to your intuition. Uh, the king shows up here to help support you in making uh, decisions. OK, but you gain, um, you know, clarity or you gather enough information in this uh, Ace of Swords at your shadow. Leo is the, you know, energy of being victorious and also being successful. So remember that Leo is on fire this upcoming week. All right. So Cancer, Scorpio or Pisces represents that king. Now we have the four of. Uh, oh, yeah. Happiness card. Four of wands. So this is the card that uh, represents happiness. This is, uh, you know, someone purchasing, possibly. It mirrors the Nine of Pentacles, purchasing a home. Could be a down payment for a new home. Could be a down payment for a new condo or apartment, townhouse. It could be just having that money to relocate to a different area. Since we have the aspect of the Three of Wands here, where it's movement, something positively moving forward. And that could be you... Um, you know, moving to a different location, moving to a different area. This could be someone moving in, Leo moving in with someone, someone moving in with Leo. It's all about being uh, within a, a comf you know, a structured uh, building, which is, you know, representative of a home. Okay, that has four walls, and it's about that happiness. This is a very positive card in this, um, you know, tarot deck. I, I don't speak about it enough, but it is a card that represents uh, happiness. And it's usually uh, related to not just one person, it's related to several people. So whatever this four wands is showing up here for you, uh, Leo, it is here. Somebody wants to relocate, someone wants to move, someone wants to purchase a home, someone wants to, you know, rent, a, 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 you know, could be renting a town home, a condo or apartment. Uh, but there's movement here. And remember, the Ace of Swords, again, is at your shadow. Victorious and successful in some type of endeavor. Your last card is the Five of Cups. Well, the Five of Cups is here for a reason. Now, it could be that some Leos are going about the week feeling some type of way, you know, in their own energies. Temporarily, because, you know, we get like that. You can't always say that, you know, the Five of Cups does represent a loss, but it doesn't always represent the type of loss that, you know, could be generated. It could be that, you know, we're feeling just, you know, sad, temporarily sad for whatever reason, but there's no uh, amount of finger pointing to direct it to and, you know, saying that this person is responsible for the way I feel. Or it could be, but it's, if even if it was, Leo, it's not going to last too long. So don't worry about that. Five of Cups also represents children for me. So it could be, you know, something going on with the child or children of Leo's. Uh, and they're feeling some type of way. So, but we finish off that energy for you. That energy represents Cancer, Scorpio, and Pisces. All right? So not too bad, Leo. Not too bad. This is... Uh, for some of you, it seems like it's going to turn out to be a very promising week. Whatever you choose to do this upcoming week, I always encourage you to do it safely. Stay strong, Leo. Stay positive and um, stay healthy. And with that being said, sending you out quite a bit of love and light your way until I talk to you again. Bye.